hi everybody how you all doing good day to you all welcome again to another video on my channel my name is blessing and this is your blessed on tv <laughs> <laughs> welcome to my channel and i welcome every one of you who has not yet subscribed please consider subscribing hit that subscribe button today and also the notification bell so i keep you notified whenever i upload a new video i like to say thank you to every one of you who already subscribed i appreciate your support for me on this channel thank you so much without you i won't be this motivated it is no longer news that they are not a majority we have been saying a is in the south but they are not a majority and this has been confirmed by a northern elite in the person of alaji tanko yakasai and his said the northern use flooding to the south and other margaries you need to investigate those who are sending there i saw a bunch of youths wearing shirts Amajiri don't wear shirts they wear rags so this man is saying the truth because the Amajiris that we have seen you see they don't even have food they just have all these plates in their hand looking for food all those kind of things so i made the argument that it is possible that you know just like our people used to try to escape nigeria and come into europe looking for a way out of the hardship that they are facing that there's an element of that among all these youth but you know of what is going on in nigeria and how uh, critical the situation have been over the years we remember what was happening in the middle bear and the you know carry that was going on there and uh, you keep in mind that there was a notable uh chief of staff former chief of staff of nigeria and the person of ty danjuma he actually made a rallying call calling on everybody to rise up and defend themselves that the army is not doing anything and the army army is actually working in connection with the people who are undermining the whole people basically making the case that the army are soft on them and they are covering up for them so yeah it's not that i'm making it up i'll just show you a clip of him saying this just watch there's an attempt at ethnic cleansing in this state and of course in all the riverine state of nigeria we must resist it. We must stop it. Every one of us must rise up. The armed forces are not neutral. They collude. They collude. They collude with the armed bandits. They kill people, kill Nigerians. They facilitate their movements. They cover them. If you are depending on the armed forces to stop the killings, you will all die one by one. So you can imagine a former chief of army staff being bold enough to come out and say this kind of a thing. But right now, this man has reneged. He's not pushing for uh, self-defense anymore because the president of Nigeria, uh, Muhammad Buhari, has invited him into Asorok. And, you know, he has had a meeting with him. And this man has changed math. Him. He's not talking all this one again. No, he even came out from the meeting. He did not say anything. So you can see that the elites, most of the time, they are just all about their interests. So I will really, really want to encourage everybody who is in the rural areas who is there on the ground that they should do something like uh, they really need to ensure that all those encampments in the villages are not allowed to be and it's important that the governors really make sure that if these people want to live there there's no problem they should find accommodation in the cities with other people not encamping in the uh, interior forest and uh, you know hiding there and doing whatever and people can no longer go into the farm to do their farm work because you know they are afraid you don't know what is waiting for you and it's on head of uh, people that from our side like you don't see more people that will go to Kano and they will not go to one forest and encamp it's not done so why should that be the case when they come to Enugu that they will not go into the forest and encamp themselves eh? it is very wrong and a very very dangerous thing for them to be going into all these places and taking over all the bushes like this is really 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 very 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 urgent right now so everybody needs to do something i really like all our people in the southeast and the south south and the southwest to come together at this point in time and uh, you know push for 
a closure in all these uh, uh, interiors that these people are taking away you know it's not like uh, of course you know it's a federal government people are allowed to move within the state and uh, right now there's still enforcement of the lockdowns and to my dismay i think about it in a way that i didn't see them searching through the bags you know in those bags of food that they are sitting on and all those kind of a thing and sometime in the past we have seen them hiding uh you know their instruments under different guises on inside vegetables uh, you know on their um, okada seats you know different ways that they have been concealing this thing so yeah i'm a little bit dismayed and worried because i didn't see anybody going through their stuff or did they or did i miss that i don't know i think that i didn't see it so anyway now it has come to this everybody have to really be at a lot and uh yeah i saw also the news that the governor of Enugu state, the person of Uguanyi, that he was uh, at the border of the Enugu and Ibuni state and trying to control how it is going on there. And actually, he did a good job, and there were more than a hundred vehicles that he turned back. And those ones he turned back are those ones that had no business being there because uh, the federal lockdown is still ongoing. So, actually, there should not be any interstate movement except it's on essential purposes, but uh, it it turned out that there are people who were on their own agenda, who were coming in large trucks, you know, and uh, yeah, he had to turn them back. And this is commendable. So I would expect that every one of those people who are the stakeholders, who are actually in charge of the southern states, will do the same. And uh, they, they will just try to curb these people from, you know, taking advantage of this whole scenario and, uh, you know, uh, put themselves in every corner of these areas to do the underdo that they are known for. Be that as it may, it is still possible for people to move around. For example, if they are on essential category. So yeah, if they are moving in this category, it is possible that they have something doing or whatever they are selling goods. But other than that, they have no reason to go into the interiors to go and stay. And what Ugwani has done, the governor of uh, Enugu State, you know, that he was there at the border turning them back. I think this is what every community should be doing. So is it possible that they can form vigilantes and allow this vigilante to do the monitoring for them like every border of every local government to see who is coming in, who is going out and to kind of uh, take the powers from the governor to try to see that uh, there are no encampments in the uh, farming area, in the bushes so that, uh, you know, the bushes will not be, uh, you know, a place where they will be you know hashing all their evil plans and taking the people on a west yeah it is now in the open they are not who they say they are uh, they are not the imagery as we know them and whoever is sending them is not making known their intention and you're not going to wait for them to explain to you why they are there you just have to you know think about what can happen and all the ways these things can play out and be prepared yeah so i just wanted to share with you again my thoughts on this movement because i made a video about it i just thought that i should talk about it again that the imageries i also thought that they are in the south that they are actually not imageries and even though we thought that maybe they will be coming for the food it's possible that they are actually well fed and they are not coming for any food and it is possible that even all those food that they are carrying is not food that is inside that is another thing so that they may be hiding their equipment inside all these food stuff and uh, if nobody went through the bags it's possible that the things that, that they are going to be needed for their cleansing is actually there already on ground so yeah i just wanted everybody to be on alert while you are still being diplomatic that you are also being alert and conscious of all the possibilities and all the things that can happen so that's all i want to say in this video it's a very short video obviously thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel join me here and i'll see you very soon in another video bye for now bye bye